Oh, howdy, y'all. Grab yourself a beer. It's time for some Path of Exile discussion. I'm going to try and keep this one quick, but during the 3.17 announcement, and especially in discussing it over the 16 hours since, there's been a number of questions that have been raised about whether players will be locked out of Endgame because of the Voidstone system. Now, a lot of this comes from the fact that Voidstones and Watchstones have similar names, and therefore a lot of players think of them as the same thing, when actually Voidstones are something that come much, much, much later in progression than Watchstones did. So, there are four Pinnacle Atlas bosses, the Uber Elder, the Maven, the Searing Exarch, and the Eater of Worlds. And defeating these is how you acquire your Void Stones. Void Stones will be some endgame customization, extreme endgame customization to your Atlas. And they're something that you will not need for a lot of things that people think you need them for. So, what is not gated behind Pinnacle Atlas bosses? Firstly, map sustain is not gated behind them. Uh, you will be able to sustain high tier maps. Uh, by virtue of using Atlas passives, uh, in order to select in order to select options on the Atlas like the node Planeforged. Planeforged grants, among other things, a 12% chance for maps to drop one tier higher than they otherwise would. Secondly, you will not require the uh, Pinnacle Atlas bosses to be killed in order to gain access to about 90% of the Atlas passives you'll be able to get. It's about 110 of them are accessed just by completing maps and we're not talking like the ridiculous unique maps here we're talking about the normal maps and you can complete them on their normal their normal tier you don't need to complete them on a special tier to get these points you do not need to defeat the pinnacle atlas bosses in order to get access to tier 16 maps your initial atlas as it's originally brought to you with zero avoid stones in it will contain maps of all tiers from 1 to 16. You will also have access to the more accessible bosses. So here I'm naming things like Baran, the Hydra, the Elder, uh, sorts of bosses that you can get access to uh, reasonably, at a point where your character is reasonably powerful, but well before you are able to defeat the harder bosses like the Maven. You'll also have access to most of the favored map system before you defeat any of the Pinnacle Atlas bosses, with just a little bit of that being gated behind beating the top bosses. So what is gated behind them? Uh, access to the last few Atlas passives, control over map tiers. So where I say control over map tiers, I mean if Beach is allocated a tier 7 base base level, then each Void Stone that you put in will raise that. And so that means that Beaches that drop for you in the future will drop at a higher tier. But you will have you'll only have agency over what tier Beach drops at if you've got your favoured map system. Oh, sorry, if you've got your uh, Pinnacle Atlas bosses killed. So that's something that's going to be moderately impactful, uh, but I think that for most players, it's going to be not all that important until quite late in your progression. Uh, and then at that point, there will be alternative maps. So, you know, maybe your very favourite map is unfortunately only a tier 3 and you're not interested in running tier 3s, uh, but your second favourite map might be a tier 16 or a tier 14 by default. And so you're fine. You've got something good to run. And then eventually maybe you'll get the Pinnacle Atlas bosses down and then you'll be able to run your favourite map at high tier as well. A small amount of the favourite map system is tied behind the Pinnacle Atlas bosses and probably the most important one is the Sextants. So in a lot of ways, Sextants are the middle game uh, functionality in the 3.9 to 3.16 Atlas. They're a middle game uh, tool for customising mapping and for, for producing up maps. Uh, these seem to be getting replaced in that role by early access to the favoured map system. The favoured map system is something that comes online very late in the 3.9 through 3.16 Atlas. Uh, usually, uh, for me at least, it's usually about the time that I am ready to kill a Maven that I start getting access to this system. And that is going to come online earlier, but in exchange, sexes will come online later. So think of those as swapping their spot in progression. Some endgame oriented items obviously will be gated behind these bosses because they're boss drops. And I think that you should see killing the Pinnacle Atlas bosses as being 3.17's equivalent of clearing the Uncharted Realms in 3.13 to 3.16. This is not a week one objective for a casual player. Uh, it's something that a veteran player might try to get in week one. I might be very proud of themselves when they do. But for a casual player, the goal might be to complete it at all by the end of the league. Uh, or maybe to complete it in standard over a six or nine month period. So how does a casual player unlock Void Stones? Really, there's four options. Firstly, you can power up your character a lot and practice the fights so that you don't make any terrible mistakes in them, uh, and then just beat them with a combination of brute force and your experience that you've gained. 
Uh, this is the first option, and you can take as long as you want on this. You know, maybe this is an entire league project. Maybe this is a two and a half league project that you do in standard. Your second option is just to raise a focus on learning the fights until you can do them with dumpster tier gear. Now, this is the point where you're no longer a casual player, and that's fine. Uh, there's lots of ways to have fun in Path of Exile. Uh, you can have fun as a casual player. You can have fun as a more veteran player. And most veteran players will raise the focus on learning these fights uh, in order to be able to do them with poor gear over time. Uh, and particularly, that'll be the case, I think, when 3.18 comes around and there's a fresh Atlas reset. Your third option is to engage a boss killer service. There are plenty of other players that have a lot of bossing experience in Path of Exile, and many of them will be willing to help you out on this front. Often they will want something in exchange, and quite often you can negotiate a deal. Maybe that'll be... You help me kill my Uber Elder and I'll keep the loot, but I'll give you 50 Chaos Orbs. Or it might be, you help me kill a Maven. If a Maven's Orb drops, I keep it, but I give you an Exalted Orb. And that's not going to work anymore because Maven's Orb's being removed out of the Maven. So but there's lots of ne negotiations you can have. The actual details of how you negotiate is up to you. The places you can do this are in the in-game channel uh, chat channel Trade 820. There's one place for finding a boss killer service. Uh, second place is the uh, Path of Exile Services Trading Discord. And the third place is a guild discord run by the Forbidden Trove. All of these are good places to find someone with experience bossing. And it's up to you to navigate these, find someone that, that has the skills you don't have, uh, and work out a deal with them. And, you know, it's certainly something I've done in the past plenty of times. I used a boss killer service in this league in order to get the uh, Kill the Feared Simultaneously achievement done. Uh, lots. Uh, there's no shame in doing that. The fourth option is just simply to play without them. They aren't needed. Uh, they're something that is an in-game option that you can try to unlock over time, but you don't need them in order to enjoy the game. Anyways, that's all I got on this. Uh, May of Valves have interesting results, and I will see you around. And hopefully this clarifies a little bit about the situation with Void Stones.